guys and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make this video to show you the things that I have been absolutely loving this past month. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these favorites videos, but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been loving. Personally, I love watching these videos because it can kind of give me an idea of the things that people like before I go out and buy them. So that's what I want to do for you and hopefully show you some new products. So for all these products, I will put the link down below and the price of each item. I will start with my favorite gym clothes right now. So as many of you have probably seen all over social media, especially with Black Friday, is Gymshark. So I have been a loyal Gymshark customer since the beginning. I remember I got the crop sweatshirt with the open um, shoulders way back when they first released them. I don't even think that they make them anymore. So I haven't ordered anything from Gymshark in a long time and I figured that I would try some of their new items through the Black Friday sale. So let me tell you that the leggings that I'm about to show you, if they restock them, you need to go get them because they are 100% worth the money. They are the seamless high-waisted leggings. So they have a pretty thick waistband and it's super, super comfortable and it kind of really like just sucks you in. So it has their label on the side and then on the back. So I got these in a size small. Um, I've ordered from Gymshark in the past and I have gotten mediums, but I probably now would size down to a small. But these leggings are so comfortable. They are completely squat proof and they are just the most comfortable design. Like they're so stretchy. They have these little holes at the bottom that kind of let your ankles breathe and then in the back they have these lines right here which accentuates the booty they flatter you really really well i feel like for any body type they would look really great so i highly recommend the next item is of course a pair of lululemon leggings i tried to wait as long as i possibly could without getting a pair of lulu leggings just because i knew how expensive they are but i did find a pair on sale i decided to get them and i absolutely love them so they are the wonder under high rise they're in the full length and they're in this beautiful like greenish type color I wear these basically for all of my leg days because they're completely squat proof. They hold me in the right place and they're just so comfortable. I got these in a size 4 and I also do have another pair in the size 2. I personally like how the size 4 fits a little bit better because they are a bit looser. They can be a little bit big around the waistline just because they are really high rise. So around my waist it is a bit bigger than around where my um, hips would be. So I highly recommend getting at least one pair of Lulus. Just try them out. I have been wanting to try a couple other pairs, but I've been waiting to see if there's gonna be any sales, things like that. So next, it is, yes, another pair of leggings. As you can see, I'm obsessed with gym leggings. So these are the Buff Bunny Collection leggings. When they first released these, I was absolutely obsessed with the color and I wanted to give them a try compared to the other Gymshark leggings that I have and the Lululemon leggings that I have. Let me tell you, these are such good quality. They are so thick and comfortable. They have pockets on the side. They're super stretchy. Again, completely squat proof. They have the little logo here. I know they have restocked um, a few new types of leggings, I believe, and these ones. I think these are the Luna leggings. Um, again, I will link the link below. But I do highly recommend ordering from this company. Um, Heidi Summers is the one who started it, or otherwise known as Buff Bunny on her social media. And it's just such good product, such good quality. And for the price of gym clothes, it's really not that bad. So highly recommend these as well. The last piece of clothing that I wanted to show you is this Alphalete sweatshirt. So I have been a loyal Gymshark fan for a long time as I mentioned, but I wanted to give Alphalete a try and I've heard so many good things about them and their products. So I ordered one of their sweatshirts when they released it. This is the women's hoodie. This sweatshirt is amazing it is such good quality it's so thick so comfortable so soft on the inside super super high quality even the little ends of the strings i don't know if you can see it it's closed at the end which like some sweatshirts 
have the opening so then the plastic falls off but I believe this is actually like a metal material so this definitely definitely recommend I absolutely love this I literally was wearing it for like three days straight when I got it so moving on to my personal favorite category food so to start I'm going to show you my absolute favorite thing which I don't think I can live without now and that is the Icon Meals Protein Popcorn. Oh my, I've seen Icon Meals all over social media and the rave about the popcorn and I found this at my local vitamin shop and I was like, okay, let me just give it a try. Let me see what the hype is all about. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. I've tried it in a few different flavors. This one is my personal favorite. This is the dark chocolate sea salt. Oh my God, I literally probably could eat this entire bag and the macros on this are unreal. For 60 grams, which is a lot, it's like a full bowl, 3 grams of fat, 21.5 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. For this, you don't even need to eat a full serving, which I try to fit an entire serving into my macros because it is that good. Sometimes I eat it twice a day. It Oh my god, it's just so good. I've tried the vanilla peanut butter one. I actually just got the caffeinated kernels, which is pretty good. Um, and then I tried the mint one. This is definitely my favorite. And then I think the vanilla peanut butter. So highly recommend. I would go and get it at your local vitamin shop. Um, I haven't ordered off of their specific website because I know that the shipping is a bit more expensive. So if you can find this at um, like a health food store, definitely recommend. So my next favorite thing that I have been loving, um, you might have seen in my full day of eating, and that is the pow pasta so this is black bean pasta so basically it is an alternative to regular pasta but it's higher in protein less ingredients it's made um straight from black beans so it's black bean flour brown rice flour and organic quinoa flour so three ingredients so that's really really good the macros on this for 56 grams which is two ounces the same as normal pasta one gram of fat 35 grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. So this, literally when I have this, I will eat this every single day. I will eat it like I showed you in my full day of eating with either um, a source of protein in it, the vegetable, a little bit of olive oil. Oh my God, it's so good. It's definitely a different taste. It definitely doesn't taste exactly like pasta, but highly, highly recommend this. I got this at Whole Foods. The next thing that I have been using for months now, I've tried different flavors of it, but I always keep going back to this one. It is the Nuts and More Toffee Crunch Protein Peanut Butter. This stuff I will literally put on anything. I will put it on rice cakes, I will put it on protein waffles, I will literally eat it by itself. It is so good. And the macros on this have higher protein than normal peanut butter, which is awesome, and the flavor is 10 times better. So the macros on this, for 34 grams, which is more than normal peanut butter. Normal peanut butter is usually 32 grams. So it is 10 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. I also get this at the vitamin shop. So a few drink items that I have been loving forever. First is the Polar Seltzer Water. So currently my favorite right now is this flavor, which is the orange vanilla. Literally tastes like an orange creamsicle. They do have a lot of special holiday flavors, so each season they'll have new flavors. So I've been loving the cider flavor. These are awesome if you are dieting or trying to cut down on calories. Basically, you can drink one of these. It will fill you up until your next meal. My next favorite drink item, which I recently discovered, is the Zevia. So I started off drinking these in the cola flavor and also the caffeine free one because sometimes I like to have a little bit of soda but I don't like to drink it at night if it has caffeine so I can actually sleep. Recently I have tried this one which is the ginger root beer because I was kind of craving root beer. I don't know why because I never really loved root beer when I was little but I wanted to try this. It literally tastes exactly like root beer. I poured this in a glass and I told my mom to taste it and she's a soda drinker and I try to get her to stop drinking it. You are wasting so many calories, so many carbs, and drinking so much sugar that you need to get this. It's so much better than diet soda. It doesn't have any of the aspartame. She tried it. She goes, oh my gosh. She goes, that tastes just like root beer. And it's made 
with carbonated water, stevia leaf, which is great because stevia is more natural. It comes from um, the stevia leaf, natural flavors, and citric acid. I got this at Whole Foods, but I believe they have them at other stores like Target and some other places, but I usually get mine at Whole Foods. Next on my list, you probably saw it again in my full day of eating video, and that is, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Yves. I think is how you say it. These are the vegetarian breakfast patties. And these were on sale one day at Whole Foods, so I decided to try them, and I'm addicted. Two patties, two grams of fat, five grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. So I will put this in with my protein pasta, like I said, with some vegetables, some olive oil, and you have a whole meal. You need to get these. I got these again at Whole Foods. My last food item, it is of course, Halo Top. I love Halo Top. So I first was addicted to it when I had the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor because it literally, if you have not tried it, it tastes exactly like chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. It doesn't taste icy, it doesn't taste like protein ice cream. I cannot believe that my mom found this because whenever a new flavor comes out, it takes so long to find. This is the gingerbread house flavor. So this is their holiday flavor. If you like the taste of gingerbread, you will love this. I've eaten almost the entire thing of it. It is like gingerbread flavored vanilla ice cream with little gingerbread pieces. And there are vanilla icing swirls in here. The macros for half a cup, which is 67 grams, is 90 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 17 carbs, and 5 grams of protein. My other favorite flavors are the cinnamon roll, which I am absolutely obsessed with. Oh my god, the little chunks. It's like little chunks of cinnamon bun dough. Oh, so good. And then, like I mentioned, the chocolate chip cookie dough. The next category I want to talk about is beauty products. And my skin is really sensitive and I have more combination skin, so I have to be kind of careful about what lotions and face wash, things like that. Recently, I tried this, which is, is the Drunk Elephant the Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. So I love this because it's a gel rather than a cream. So it moisturizes my skin without making it too oily and doesn't clog my pores, but really provides a good moisture. The only thing that I will say about it is that with it getting into the winter season, my skin is getting a little bit drier, so it doesn't fully, fully hydrate my skin. So that's where my next product comes in. That is the Kiehl's brand. I think that's how you say it. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So this product is a little bit more of a thicker cream and I will use it at night. I will put it all over my face, just let it sink in overnight because if my skin does get a little bit oily, I'll be asleep and obviously I'm not gonna be out and about. Said with winter coming, my skin has been a little bit drier so this product is awesome. Moving on to some makeup products that I've been loving. First, I want to start off with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I've been using this product for a while now. I was originally using drugstore concealers and I heard so much hype about this, so I decided finally, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try it, see how I like it. I have never turned back. It completely conceals my under eyes, which is a problem. I usually get really dark circles under my eyes, so I will literally put a little bit of this on and you won't even know. And I would rather spend a little bit more money for my products and have them work rather than just go to the drugstore and spend $10, $15 on products that don't work. My next favorite makeup product was another thing that I wanted to try for a while and I decided, you know, I'm just going to finally get it and I am so happy I did. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So this is um, in the shade medium deep and it's a matte bronzer. So there's no shimmer in it whatsoever. I'll put it right here to lightly contour again on my forehead, a little bit on my nose. It's a really, really subtle contour. It literally smells like chocolate. Like I could eat this if I could. It literally smells like a chocolate bar. It is so... The last makeup product, I decided to get um, one of the minis of it just to try it. And that is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay, it's the highlighting fluid. So it is a liquid highlighter, and I absolutely love this because you can put a little bit of this on when you don't wanna wear a lot of makeup and your skin literally glows. 
So I will put it on my cheeks, on my nose, and then a little bit right here and just give you a subtle highlight and it looks absolutely amazing. Definitely like the mini one because it's lasting me a really long time. I only, you only have to use a little bit of time. So I probably would get the mini again next time if I wanted to, but I feel like I'm gonna have this for a really, really long time. But again, this is awesome if you don't wanna wear a lot of makeup but wanna have a little bit of a glow. So my last, I guess you could say is a beauty product is this perfume that I've been loving. So I got this, um, I believe either over the summer or last year, I think it might have been one of their holiday ones from last year, but this is the Victoria's Secret Love Spell Lace Perfume. So how I would describe this, it has a florally kind of fruity type smell, but it's a little bit deeper, so it's really sweet smelling. Um, I love Victoria's Secret perfume. I have a few other ones that I really, really love. I like to switch them out, but this one I've used, as you can see, almost the entire bottle and I kind of hope they still sell it because I want to get another one as soon as I run out. Last product that I have, it's kind of in an other category I guess you could say. This is Rituals for Transformation. It's a 108 day journey to your sacred life. So my aunt actually gave this book to me and I have been loving it. So every morning when you wake up, there is a section that you can read. It's about different topics. What I've gone through so far, it's been talking about basically like loving your body, forgiving your body, forgiving any negative thoughts that you have, forgiving people. Um, like this one says, resentment obscures my vision. So basically it will have a quote and then it will be a reading. Then it has you meditate. So basically if you can sit and meditate for five, 10 minutes, just kind of let that thought come into your head. And then it will have you write an intention for the day based off of the reading. Then it will be a morning writing. So basically you can just write any thoughts you had during your meditation or just in general about the reading. And then at the end of the day, you will do an evening reflection and gratitude. So basically something that you're grateful for and basically just writing about any thoughts that you have throughout the day. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any of your favorite products, definitely comment below. I'd love to try it and hopefully they'd be in my December favorites video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I've been trying to do different topics and different types of videos just to kind of keep you guys interested. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!